Hey guys, still here. In this addition to the submarine, we're going to be looking at stabilizing the roll factor because the submarine is likely to start rolling. This is what I mean. If I make a turn, the submarine starts banking at almost 45 degree angles. I don't really want my sub to do that. I want it to stay nice and level and especially for surface ships this can be quite an important aspect because the more you roll the less accurate your guns will be. Now fortunately it's very easy to correct this roll factor. All you need to do is add some props. So we're going to go into the propeller section under water, add some small propellers, put it on mirror mode and I'm going to add two on the bow and um, two towards the stern. They're not particularly nicely mounted, but that's not a problem right now. Okay, the ones on the left, you go to Q, you press roll, LHF, left hand side. The same for the other side, RHS, roll reverse, right hand side. You go to the bow, and you say, okay, this one is on the right, right hand side, or RHS, and this one is on the left, LHS. That's the system set up. However, it will still continue to roll. So we're going to go back into the con room, or back into the control center, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to add another PID, and this one I'm going to tell use the roll system. Uses roll LHS and use roll RHS thrusters to stabilize the vehicle's roll motion. Now watch this. I'm now going to continue to turn. But the submarine is already banking less because those things on the bow, as well as the stern, are causing counter thrust. They are trying to level out the submarine. Now you can, of course, go into the PID and adjust this thing even further. Because right now, and this is a bit wonky as I try and get out, you want to have the green line approach the red line as close as possible. Red line is what you want it to be to have no roll whatsoever. The green line is what the roll currently is. If I'm going to turn, then you're going to see that the green line starts changing. The green line is going up. That's when the system kicks in and the system is pushing back and it's pushing the green line back to the red line so it's neutralizing the roll of the submarine. I wanted to do it a bit faster because right now it's taking about three seconds to counter the accumulated integral, which means the accumulated roll factor. Let's set that to two and see if the system is going to kick in more efficiently. Again, making a turn. It is starting to deviate and it is already pushing back. The roll factor is almost getting completely neutralized. And you can see those props on the back and the, st uh, the sorry on the stern and the bow working hard in order to neutralize the roll. Of course, if you keep turning violently, the system is going to get a bit confused, up to the point where I'm always starting to surface. It's not really what you want to have happen. We can also set this thing to have a little bit more gain, so that it's going to react a little bit more violently. So let's try this. It's still rolling quite heavily. A bit more than I would like it to. So let's set this to 0 0.03. H for a port turn. And now it's starting to really kick back fast. It's starting to neutralize the roll almost immediately. And you can get that warning message. The output is saturated. That means that, or at least as far as I understand it, that the system can no longer output more power to neutralize the roll. But I gotta say, I rather like the way that it is rolling or not rolling right now. Okay, let's assume I'm heading this way. Let's make sure that there's zero roll at the moment. And yeah, it looks like zero roll. Going to make a port turn. And the roll is really not that bad anymore. The roll is about, well, maybe 10 degrees at best. The submarine will also do a bit of a counter roll as the system is trying to overcorrect your roll. So you can see that over here I was turning. This is where I let it go and now it's starting to dip back. That's when the submarine made the other roll to the other side to try and compensate. So let's turn this down a bit to make sure that it doesn't overcompensate as much. Because that way it's going to be 
uh, looking a bit less into the future, and hopefully it'll work. There we... nope, it's still turning too violently. Okay, let's set this one, the integral time. It will try to cancel the accumulated integral, which is the accumulated roll factor, over this period of time, two seconds. Let's set that to five seconds, so that it gets a bit more time to compensate for the roll. You can see that I am starting to roll quite violently. The roll factor is definitely higher than it was before, but I'm still dipping back heavily, so that's not it. Set it to 1. Rolling again, we're making a poor turn. It's going up. The, thrust, the system pushes back heavily. Output is saturated, that's okay. And once again it overcorrects, and it dips slightly too much, so this is not quite what I want to have happen. Let's see what happens if I put it to point zero three five. Port turn. It goes up. System pushes back. Output saturated. Starboard. It counter rolls and we're back on. Alright, let's actually see if I can do this with a standard course. Current course. Um, let's say when I start heading east. Right now, it doesn't really roll as much as it did at the beginning of the video. Right now, this roll reversal system is working properly. It's working so that the roll of the submarine isn't really that bad. It might be 10 degrees, but it started out at the starting of the video at, I believe, 40, 45 degrees, when the submarine was really heavily rolling over. And right now, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. It's holding the submarine steady. Now, a few things that you need to know about the roll reversal system these things need to be in contact with the water. If they're not, then they don't work. So if you put these on the inside of your hull in order to make it more hydrodynamic, they won't work. Especially if the hydrodynamic, or if the prop is on the inside of the hull, where there is actually a dry compartment. If that's the case, they won't work. Something else, it takes a bit of uh, finicking around with this PID, as it depends on the size of the submarine. It also depends on your preference. How fast do you want this thing to kick back and counter the roll that it has acquired? If you want it to do it faster, turn back the integral time. If you don't mind the roll and um, you don't mind the fact that it's going to take about 10 seconds, you can set this to 10 and it's going to roll less violently or it's going to um, counteract less violently. But then again, PIDs are a whole science apart. And that's it for this video. Quick video to make sure that you know how to counter the roll on your submarine. Especially for missiles, it can be an interesting part. And if you have a gun on your sub, then the system will also kick in if the gun somehow kicks your submarine to the side and forces it to roll. And that way you can keep your gun on target a bit better. So let me know if this video was useful to you by giving it a like if it was. And if you have any questions for me, leave those in the comments. I always answer them, I always have a look at them, and I always try to see how I can help you out. Thank you for watching, hope it was useful, and I'll see you soon for more From the Depths.